Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHex.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Now, on to the decals. Now, this is a set I have been looking forward to for quite some time. I actually specifically bought this dead Optimus Prime for this decal set. This is the decal set that Toy Hacks manager Alex Black said is his absolute favorite and one that he designed himself. This is the decal set to turn dead Optimus Prime into Monster, a character based on the G1 episode Dark Awakening. Now this decal set includes two decal sheets on this foil backing. You've got one big decal sheet here for the trailer and one big decal sheet. Well, again, you've got the trailer and robot decal. So this is going to be a lot of work, but I cannot wait to see how this guy looks afterwards. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at the dead Optimus Prime transformed into monster. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, this Optimus Prime is nothing but a flat-out repaint of the Earthrise Optimus Prime figure, just done in grayscale. And I have to commend Hasbro for their paint applications because the coloring, or lack thereof, look amazing. He looks like a black and white photo, and they did a really, really good job. This thing is so much more impressive in hand than what I saw when he was first advertised. Now, taking a quick look at the cab... The cab shows lots of great molded details, and it looks really good. The coloring works on this guy. You got the silver stripe along the side, the grayed out Autobot logo, the chromed out gas tanks. The front of the vehicle has some smoky windows there, smoky applications on the headlights or translucent plastic there on the headlights, the silver grill and bumper. It's got the silver smokestacks. I mean, everything looks really, really good just all in black, gray, and silver. Now, taking a look at the trailer. Trailer, just like the Generation 1 version, or excuse me, just like the Earthrise version, is a nice homage to Generation 1 with the same molding. Of course, you got the big stripe here along the side, done in black and white, and a grayed-out Autobot logo. Now, let's get the trailer open, show off the inside, just like the Earthrise Prime, lots of details on the inside, but very, very plain. Black down the center, and the rest is gray. And then you've got the repair drone here, all done in a light gray with the black arms. So yeah, this guy definitely needs some help. So there you go, guys. One final look at Optimus Prime in vehicle mode before and after. And as you can see, the Quintessons have totally reformatted the corpse of Optimus Prime. Now let's take a quick look at the cab section first. The first thing you're probably noticing is the brand new green and black Autobot logo. I really like how that catches the light. That is really cool. Now moving on to the front of the cab. He gets new decals right here at the bottom of the bumper. Lights here and a chrome M right there. New decals for the headlights and new decals for the windows. Now, there are a couple options for the windows. You have these bars or you could go with these black decals right here with what Alex told me is the Quintesson Lightning. Once again, this was inspired by the episode Dark Awakening. Now, when Alex and I talked, I told him I appreciated the lightning. I like the looks of that, but the army guy in me I have to use those bars to kind of give him a more of a battle wagon look. I mean, he just looks more up armored like that. Now, this look also carries over to the side right here. We've got more of the bar look with some chrome. And that is pretty much it for the cab. Now, moving on to the trailer, 
The trailer gets brand new decals all along the sides here. On both sides, you have that Quintesson lightning going on and a very subtle Quintesson logo right there. Now opening the back of the trailer, I missed that in the beginning. Back of the trailer gets new decals right up here. A stay clear warning, which you'd think this guy would have one that says, come closer. Decal right there in the middle and new tail lights. Now let's get this opened up. And here we have a world of difference. That trailer looks amazing now. First off, we've got chrome diamond plating detailing all along the middle with a go decal right there. And I like how that's distressed. It looks really, really good. On the sides, you get monitors with different activities going on. You can tell the Quintessons are planning some sort of invasion. There's the Quintesson logo, the Matrix, the Autobots all staticked out. On this side, you can actually see how they took Optimus Prime's head apart. You've got an image of the Judge again, Rodimus Prime, and it looks like Galvatron. So yes, they are definitely up to no good. There's also some green decals right there along the sides. And the repair drone gets an upgrade. He gets a black and green tinted, if you can see it right there with the light, black and green canopy, and some black rings around his blasters. Now, I do wish that they gave the repair drone some more decals right there on the back, like they did with the original Optimus Prime set. I think uh, that's still a little lacking in the back, but I'm not going to complain because that looks 100% better than what it was. So there you go, guys. Monster in vehicle mode after. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Prime still retains his grayscale look from vehicle mode. Taking a closer look at the figure, he does sport a brand new head sculpt now with busted up antenna and a cracked mouth plate. He also has some very dead looking eyes. They are now painted black. Nice Autobot logo right there on the shoulder. He's got the silver smokestacks, silver grill, stripe there around the chest, and something I missed in my original review He's got a paint application that makes it look like he's got that slash in his torso that he received from Megatron in the movie. Moving on down the figure, the upper legs are now a light gray. He's got some black paint details right there. Lower legs, all black. Silver right there for the vent area. And that's about it. The figure really doesn't look that bad at all for a black and white figure. So there is one final look at dead Optimus Prime before and after. Now robot mode is what sold me on this set. Let's go ahead and take a look at the decals for his face sculpt. He gets a brand new mouth plate. It's black with some chrome accents and some new eyes. I love those beady red eyes. Now there are some options. You can go with the beady red eyes. You can go with green eyes or solid red or green. I decided to go with the red because I really think that makes him look a lot more evil and breaks that face up. And I just, I dig it. I like the looks of that. He's got the green Autobot logo there on his shoulder now. And you can see the barred windows there on the chest. Down here on the abs, he gets new black and green decals. Moving on over here to the arms right there at the elbow. Gets these really cool black and chrome decals. I love the way that's catching the light. He also gets new chrome decals right there on the waist and a black and chrome decal right there on the crotch. Upper legs gets these black and chrome decals. Down here on the knees, black, red, and yellow decals, and more of that really cool black and chrome with the circuitry details, I guess. Down here on the toes, he also gets some chrome accents. So a really cool looking figure. Monster here also has a few surprises up his sleeve. If you take the right arm and fold the fist in, you see a hidden missile pod. I think that's really cool. But my favorite is over here on the left arm. Fold this one in. Leave the panel hanging down and you have a minigun with a belt hanging off of it. I love that. That is very creative and really, really cool looking. I dig it. I think that's so awesome. But that's not all. You move down here to the knees. 
flip these panels up, and there is hidden rocket pods in the legs. So I love that. That is so cool and really adds to the playability of this figure. I mean, he is armed and ready for battle. So there you go, guys. One final look at Monster in Robot Mode after. I really have to commend Toy Hacks manager Alex Black for his creativity in coming up with this set. He took inspiration from the Generation 1 cartoon and came up with his own character, and I think that is so cool. Now, granted, the monster set may not be for everyone. Some people just aren't into brand new characters, but I, for one, absolutely love this, and I'm going to proudly display monster on my Quintesson shelf. Now, Alex Black and I had a great interview a couple weeks ago, and if you missed that, please click the link above. It kind of gives you more of an insight into the inner workings of Toy Hacks. And also, Alex has started his own YouTube channel where he does podcasts where he interviews different people in the Transformers community. So please check that out as well. I'll have a link in the description of this video. Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!